We start tonight with the arrest of a man suspected in the kidnapping and murder of a Metro Detroit nurse. Thank you for joining us here at five. I'm Brian Abel. Patrice Latoya Wilson was kidnapped while getting in her car at Detroit Receiving Hospital Saturday night, Saturday morning rather. Family members say she had previously been in a relationship with the suspect, 36 year old Jameer Miller. By Saturday evening, Wilson's body was found in the trunk of her car at a Novi apartment complex. Detroit police holding a press conference just a short time ago about the arrest and 7 Action News reporter Whitney Bernie was there. And what did they tell you, Whitney? Well, Brian, it's worth noting that at the top of that press conference, Chief James White started by talking about the contributions that 29-year-old Patrice Wilson made to her community as a nurse. He went on to talk about just how tragic it is that not only was she taken away from her family so soon, but right before Mother's Day. Now, Detroit police told us today that the initial call for that alleged kidnapping came into Wayne State Police, but because of the nature of that call, DPD was alerted immediately. Chief White says there was a significant amount of resources deployed the second the call came in, including their special response and organized crime units. Because of the pressure applied via search warrants and the investigative process, police say yesterday around 215, Miller turned himself in negotiating his surrender to police through his attorney. Police say this case is still very active and they're leaving no stone unturned, which is why they say they're looking into any potential ties Miller has to a decade old disappearance case of a woman who is said to be the mother of Miller's child. Police say this is a grave reminder that there needs to be more protection for domestic violence victims. In this instance, uh, this is someone who, who, who did what she could uh, to separate herself from that situation. Unfortunately, though, um, you know, these types of offenders uh, don't take no for an answer and more needs to be done to protect our victims. Uh, there's PPOs and things such as that, but we certainly like to see a lot more being done before someone else has to lose their life. Now, at this point, we don't know exactly what charges Miller could be facing. Police say those details are forthcoming. We did hear from police, though, that Miller has a lot of violent uh, priors on his record. We'll get into that tonight at 6. Live here in Detroit, Whitney Bernie, 7 Action News. Just a horrible situation. We are thinking of Wilson's family, and we will see you at 6. Whitney, thank you.